Hi everyone, it's Kim from Affordably Crafty. And today I have some awesome crafting free coloring pages I wanted to share with you. If you're new here, welcome. My channel is all about teaching you how to stretch your craft dollar and be affordably crafty. Please like, share, and subscribe. Also follow me on Instagram and join my Facebook group where I post all my steals, deals, and freebies I find in my travels in the crafting world. So this first set starts with a page of interesting looking buttons. You could use this just as a traditional coloring page or you could cut them out and do some collaging with it. I do have a love affair with buttons, I must confess. Here's some cool crayons. You can't use up creativity. The more you use, the more you have. Maya Angelou. I like that quote. This is some pages with triangles. Okay, I love this one. Look, it's got all different sewing implements. There's thimbles and needles and thread and buttons and safety pins and scissors. Again, you can color it as is or cut it up and make something else with it. Even pin cushions on the side there. It's like a sewing mandala. Oh, even cones of yarn or thread up there. Cool. I love that. And these are all free. I will link down below where these came from. Got a sewing machine. This is just a page of, looks like knit stitch. I don't know, I don't knit, whatever that stitch is called. But again, this could make a cool background or even maybe a frame for a picture. So then the second set of pictures is quilt block coloring pages. Perfect way to see your block in color before you cut any fabric. There's 30 different blocks. So these are all the blocks and the names on them. And these are each in separate PDF files. So up until the knit one, that was one set. Now this is a second set. This could be fun to just play around with tangrams with the kids too, if you just cut those out and they can mix and match the shapes or have them color them on paper and make a paper quilt. That could be fun. Lots of different ways you can use these than just using them for quilting. I could see making these, shrinking them down to size and coloring ornaments or making like pennants, not pennants like church, like pendants. Not pennants. Kim, come on. Some of them are very simple like this, and some of them are a bit more complicated. And there's a little bit about each block after it. My personal opinion was just to print out the uncolored ones, but hey, do what you want. I like all these triangles. Who here is a quilter? Would they find this interesting? Or you find this interesting if you're a quilter to use to practice coloring on? To see if colors match together? I still think some of these are really fun for non-quilters, personally. These would also be great to use with a school or to send to your school's art teacher, since this is a PDF and it's free. Interesting there. These could also be used as template ideas for crochet designs. Crochet inspired by quilting. I don't know what a good word for that would be. Crochet and quilting. Hmm. I don't know. Those words don't mash together very easily. <laughs> But yeah, endless possibilities with this. Um, you could even maybe use it as a resist for painting. Ooh, you could use it if you put it inside a plastic sheet holder 
and make resists for painting uh, with hot glue gun. Oh no, so that, that wouldn't work in a plastic cover. Um, you'd have to put wax paper on top of it. So you put the wax paper on top of it and then you put down some hot glue in that shape. You wait till it's dry and then you peel it off and then voila, resist. That could be fun. Has anybody used that technique before? Ooh, that one on the right could be good for a game board. This is 10 inch blocks, so they're smaller than the other ones. And there's 10 different blocks in this one. Hmm. That Lady of the Lake looks like it would make a cool game board. What do you think? That would be fun. This kind of reminds me of um, Wright, the um, architect there from the 20s. These would be super fun to cut out, color, and laminate for tangram pieces. Tangram is when you make shapes out of different colored shapes. I mean, they don't have to be colored, but different shapes. You put them together into different motifs, I guess you could say. That's the one I think would be good for a game board. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Hmm. Oh, I could see cutting the middle out of that and making it into a picture frame. That's cool. Okay, then I thought this was ultra interesting. So this one has to do with sewing. Question mark, what do mazes have to do with sewing? I thought this was pretty cool. I never had thought of this. So they're for sewing practice. So they have to move the machine around on the paper to follow the maze. Now it says once you do this, the needle's only gonna be used for that, but Honestly, you could even get maze books from the Dollar Tree and make copies of it and try and do that if somebody is learning how to sew. It's such a great idea that I never thought of before. So it starts from big spaces and simple movements like this. And then they start to get a little bit more complicated. And again, if you mess up, it's just paper. It's not like you're using up expensive fabric. And then you're going to get into a little bit more advanced techniques where you're moving around the octagon. Has anybody ever heard of this style of practicing sewing? Then you go around a triangle. And then I guess the most difficult is moving around in a fluid circle. I don't know. I just hand sew. Comment down below if you think this is a good idea. Then there are some patterns for stuffed toys using the coloring pages as templates, I believe, which is cool. So yeah, basically using scrap fabric. And I didn't show all of them on here because I didn't want to give away like things you weren't supposed to or whatever. So basically you turn that into a stuffed animal. Okay, these are just positivity quotes. You can do it, shine bright. These would make a really great um, mural if you had everybody at the workplace do one. You can do it. Hmm. Hooray! That would make a cute birthday card. Shine bright. Thank you for joining me. Have a creative day, everyone.